Greetings to you and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. I hope you are doing well. In today's special tutorial, I will actually be showing you, you know, how to edit a PDF document, right? How to organize the pages of a PDF document, for instance, change the orientation of some pages or all the pages of, a, of your PDF document. How do you actually, you know, uh, split or merge you know, different PDF documents. How do you split a PDF document into separate pages or into even or odd pages or into X number of pages, all right? How do you even extract pages of, or some pages of a PDF, PDF document, all right? And transform these pages into a single PDF, for instance, all right? Or better still and more especially, how do you actually digitally sign a PDF document? All these are possible thanks to a, a free PDF editing software called Mini Tool PDF Editor. And without much ado, I'm going to head on to the computer and just show you how you can actually download this free software. All right. And by the way, today's special tutorial is actually sponsored by Mini Tool. All right, so right here is the download page for, you know, this software. If you would like to download, you know, the, the mini tool PDF editor, all you have to do is to simply go to what pdf.minitool.com and it will bring you to this page. You could also just Google mini tool PDF editor and I'm sure it, you will land on this page. All right. Now, once you land on this page, it's very simple. You simply hit on what? Free download, okay? Um, I would also put a link in the description box in case you know you are finding it hard to find yourself on this page, all right? So just click and download it. So you click on free download, you know, and after downloading, you simply locate the, 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 the setup within your, your downloads folder or wherever it is and then you double click on it all right and then click on yes oh i already have it installed so i don't want to install it again all right but it's just as simple as that you know let's come back you know to the home page and um i just would like to let you understand that when you download it for free, maybe after you use it for some time, Minitool might simply remind you to upgrade, you know, so that you can continue to enjoy the pro version of the software, right? So that is just up to you. And I strongly really recommend that you do that, you know, if ever you are asked to upgrade this, I mean, uh the software because it's really worth it all right because this goes for let's say 19 dollars per month but if i were you i would just pick the ultimate plan you know which is like uh 99 dollars and you have the software lifetime you know there's a perpetual license all right or you could also subscribe monthly in which case you'll be paying but for one year right in case in which case you'll be paying 5.75 dollars every month for a period of what one year and in which case you have the advantage of using it on two devices but don't be scared go ahead and download the software it is totally free and you can use it to do whatever that you want to do if you also enjoy you know this amazing software as i have enjoyed it all right it actually has a very awesome uh interface you know i like the fact that the interface is green and also all the widgets are simply well placed and organized so unlike other pdf editing softwares that you have to struggle you don't know where to click for this one you have all the options available all right all the widgets right 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 in front of you and it's very very simple to use you know and 
for those of you who are old subscribers, you might have watched me making tutorials on how to use Adobe Acrobat to do A, B, C, or D. I can guarantee you that all that I've said so far on my channel, this software can do all of that, you know, all these functionalities and even more, all right? You can scan your PDF and OCR it in order to edit it in case your PDF is in the form of an image or something. You can, you know, convert your PDF into Word, PowerPoint, Excel, whatever that you want. You can actually start a fresh or a blank template, you know, and actually write using the PDF element to actually what write um, a document of your own, you know, just like typing in Microsoft Word after which you save it as PDF. There are different things that you can do with this software and to me, it's just, you can actually, one key thing that I really find fascinating and interesting about this software is the fact that it can actually, let's say, read, okay, for you. And at the same time, you can actually translate, right? You can actually translate some text or whatever with this software. It's totally amazing, you know, and it's totally free for the start. And I would recommend you even buy, you know, the the pro version uh, with the perpetual license, you know. So for this tutorial, we'll actually be, you know, um, we'll be using a, what do you call it? Some PDFs that I've already downloaded, right? They are right here. And I'll just right click on any of them and open it with, uh, with what do you call it? Um, mini tool PDF editor. So right here on the desktop, we already have mini tool PDF editor right here. Before I, I, I edit any PDF, let's just open it so that you see how it looks like. So this is how it is. I've already worked with it, you know, on different PDF files, as you can see. So when you open it automatically, it brings you to the home page, you know, the start page if you want. And you could actually use the PDF element as I was, I was telling you by simply clicking on what create. And by the way, when you open it, they'll ask you, do you want to use this software as your default PDF viewer? If yes, you click OK. If no, you cancel. For me, I will say OK. And I confirm. All right. And um like i was saying you can click on you know just create and then you can either import an image import from even scan or whatever import another file or you can just click on blank you know then it it will create what an a4 sheet for you so you click on confirm or whatever you could change the dimensions of your your sheet if you don't want a4 then you just simply start what typing so whatever that you type, so for instance, I can say, thank you. Thank you, mini tool. Thank you. Mini. Tool, okay. You could type whatever that you want. You could just like, I mean, the beauty of this thing is that See that the interface is very clean and, you know, you can type as if you are writing in a Word document and you can actually save this, all right? So to save this, simply click on this drop down menu, click on save as, all right? And you can put it on wherever, put it wherever you want to put it, okay? Just save it as a PDF file. And after which, if you would like to maybe convert it to something else, you could do that, you know? So I've just done that you know and uh, right now if i i can even close this right close all tabs and then if i should come to what do you call it my where i saved it i have the file here okay and you can see how nice it is my pdf file i can edit it to i can even convert it back to word or anything so this is how amazing this software is, but that was just by the way, you know. Now let's really do the editing that I promised you. How do we edit a PDF file with the mini tool PDF editor? All right, it's very simple. 
just right click on the file that you want to edit you know click on open open it with what mini tool pdf editor all right now when it opens this way down here you can actually you know uh change the view of your document all right so you can increase you can zoom here all right to whatever size that you want you can also zoom using the zoom uh, this thing here you can even customize and then enter whatever zoom that you want for instance i can say zoom to 100 percent let's keep it 100 i could put anything right and it'll do that you know and uh what else did i want to show you or would i like to show you uh you can change the view here so if i want it to be opened let's say this way i could do it that way if i want it this way if i want it that way you know or just the traditional way <laughs> so it's just awesome and you see that all the features are just at your disposal even at the home tab you already have all that you need you know so for instance you could click on this hand and be pan and be, i mean and um pan around the document you know for instance if you don't want to be using the the ruler here to be or the scroll bar to be scrolling you could just use the this hand and be panic left click and hold and you can actually pan around the document right uh you know we have the create button here which is what we have already used the pdf element i could just create a blank page you could change the dimensions here and then whatever confirm and then you start to type what we have that is what we have already done you can ocr we look at ocr later on you know we can all these things convert the conversion you can convert to word powerpoint minimal you can merge or split pdfs you can insert for instance another pdf file or even what a blank page you see so the beauty of it is like you have like microsoft word and a pdf editor at the same time all right and it's even much smoother and interesting typing here than <laughs> than on word i can guarantee you like i was saying you can even read with it all right so if you open a pdf document and you want to read you can actually read Let's try that. So let's read, for instance, let's just say read entire documents. Okay. You see, you could also search for something, all right? So if you want to search for something, just click here and then you, 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 you search, or you could just click on advanced, all right? and then you can come and type whatever that you want to search here so for instance i could say i want to search for um let's say let's search for l i l all right so if i click on the search button then you see it will show me all the different search results so if i click on this it shows me that okay here we have il if i click on that you know it shows me all the different places where i can get il you could search for any word of your choice you know maybe il wasn't a good example we could have searched for paludism right you know and you can find the word it's so interesting right you could also do quick translation all right so how do you do quick translation if i should let's say click on this button right here and i could just before you click on the button make sure you select what you want to translate okay so assuming that i click on quick translation all right before that like i said select so let's assume that i want to select i want to translate this all right so i just selected sorry i did not select it properly so let's assume I want to trans I want to translate the whole of this sentence. Okay. I could just choose. So this is actually in French. So I'll leave it in French, but I could choose the language, the original language, and I also choose the language to which I want it to be translated to. So now it has translated this. Can you imagine that? So that is just all I have to say with the home tab. And the home tab 
it's just like these are the ready tools that you would need, you know, as you work on the document. So, but we can go through all the different tabs, you know, and more especially do all the four things that I've, I've, I've told you I was going to do. So let's click on view tab and let's see what we can do on view tab. What can we do? On view tab, we can, you know, change the, we can organize the pages of our document. All right. How do we do that? We can simply what click on, let's say this button here, depending on how we want the document to be opened. All right. Or if I want them to be open side by side like this, I usually prefer this way, you know, uh, side by side with continuous scrolling, all right? Something like this. You see how nice it is. And then um, what else can we do? You always have the option to zoom in or zoom out, all right? So I could just zoom in a bit, all right? And this is how your document would be, you see? So, assuming, um, what did I want to tell you? Assuming you want to maybe change the orientation of a particular page. Assuming I want to change the orientation of a particular page, how will I do that? Or of the entire document, you have these buttons here, you know, to change the orientation of the entire document. We'll look at all this in detail, but I just try to walk you through, you know, the different functionalities. So it's within the view tab that we actually have the translation, which we have already done and everything. So I don't know what else can we look at. Um, you could, here's also where we have already done the reading, either on the home tab or the view tab, you'll find the reading button, or you can also search, you know. So let's move on to, uh, what do you call it? Um, annotation, annotation, if you want to highlight your text with, let's say, yellow, whatever, you can do that, you see, it's very simple, area highlight, you know, if you want to, to mark up your, you know, your text, you could just do that too, for instance, I could underline, I could strike through, I could do different things, you know, you know, I could strike through, I could underline, I could do different things. Um, what else can we do? So this is the annotation tab. We can insert what shapes, you know, we could use a pencil. We can do a lot of things. I don't want to really go into the details so that we wouldn't waste time. I want us to do the four things that I've stated earlier on. Let's come to the edit tab. And with the edit tab, we can actually insert what text, right? Yes. And start typing, you know. We can do many more, right? You can always exit, right? And then you, whatever that you want to do, you can do, you can add an image. So let's pick, for instance, this image, click on open, and you have the image this way. So you can place it wherever you want to place it. And you can edit the image by rotating, you know, as you like. And you can even replace this image by clicking here, and you can pick a different what, image. You see, you can rotate the image, okay, as you like. You can increase or decrease even the transparency of your image here, you see. It's just amazing. You cannot have this in many other, I mean, PDF editing softwares that I've used before. So it's just awesome, you know, and it's cheap, in, in, you know, if, even if you want to buy the pro version right away. And uh, what else can we say? We can crop, you know, we can, you know, come to page setup. We can do many more split uh, page, you know, OCR, we'll do OCR later on, or maybe if you want, we can do OCR right now on a different PDF document, okay? OCR actually allows you to edit, uh, your PDF document, especially when you realize that, for instance, when you try to edit your PDF document, um, for instance, you see that here we have the option to edit everything within your PDF document. So I, can, I could click on edit all, meaning that I'll be able to edit both what images and then what 
uh, you see, I can edit the image, I can rotate, I can do whatever, and I can also edit what text. So I can, for instance, make this capital M, malaria here, capital M. I can do different also, yes. I can do different things, you see. But I could, you can also always exit. You also have the undo button up on top here. And you could also just choose to edit only text or choose to edit only what? Images, you see. Uh, but what was I trying to tell you? Yes. Sometimes you may try to edit and then you realize that um, probably because some slides, I said some slides, yes, or some pages of your PDF document actually come with, let's say, uh, images with text and you want to edit the, the, the text within the image. In that case, you have to simply OCR, all right? So just say OCR and click on save and then you click on what? Apply. It will perform the OCR and within a few minutes, you'll be able to what? to edit the text on your, your PDF document. In case you are finding it hard to just edit using the edit button here, you could also change the background of your PDF document, okay? It's very simple. Just right click here, okay? And then you can click on add button, sorry, uh, background. And then currently the background is white, but you could put, for instance, uh, green. And click OK. And see that the background of your document has changed. So we can actually do many, many, many more. Okay. When we try to, to change the background, I think I probably should have either applied it to the whole document, but it's like I applied it only to this page. So it has opened a new tab with this, you know. Let me close this tab and come back to the original document. So if I try to uh, update, or remove, you could remove background, you could add background, you know, and over here you can change the color as I did earlier on, right? And uh, do you want to apply it on all pages and blah, 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 you know, you can just do your settings as you like, you see? Just do it as you wish, all right? And, uh, You could also uh, be more precise by entering the range and whatever. You know, you could import a file to, that would serve as a background. Maybe you have a picture or something. You could do that here. Let's cancel this for now and continue. So let's start first of all with, so I think editing, I've already talked about editing, you know, um what else if you want to write out you know sometimes we this is called like reduction so sometimes we have a document you want to hide certain things okay maybe it's confidential you could do that you know so you click on click here select the color that you want they say you know what please exit before proceeding okay um I said I should exit. I don't know what they mean by exiting. Okay, let's try to exit. I don't know. Let me come back to write out. I want to choose a color block. Please exit before proceeding. I don't know what they mean by I should exit. Um, okay, let me close this. Okay. So uh, please exit editing. Okay, I should exit editing. All right. Okay, no problem. So I should come to write out, you know. I'm coming. Let's come to some let's just click on something else. So let me click on this. If I should come back here. Okay, so I could Instead of edit, let me just click here, all right? And then let's click on, you know, I have unchecked, you know, now I'm on select whatever. Now let's write out, okay? And then I can just select this text and you see that it puts this black whatever. So people cannot see this, you know, maybe you are submitting a confidential document 
you want to write out certain portions, this is how you do it, you know. Um, I think we've looked at most of the things when it comes to writing out. Now let's see how do I actually, um, how do I, you could also crop, you know, but we'll not do that for now. How do I add a link? Okay, you could add a link. Uh, you could, I think I've shown you already how to add an image. It's very simple. Let's now, let's see how do you add a link. So I could just add a link by clicking right here. And then I'll draw somewhere here, for instance. And then for this link, I could put any color of my choice. So I could put, for instance, uh, let's put green color, for instance. And then I would say, for instance, when you click on this uh, button, it, it would take you to maybe page five or whatever. You see, so I could say, go to page. Now enter the page number right here. Okay. So I could say, let's say, page four. All right, and then just click OK. Or I could also add like a hyperlink. So I could say, I could click on open here and put paste the website. For instance, a website where I want them to go to, you know, maybe my YouTube channel or anything, you see. But if I want to put like hypertext for a page, then this is how we just do it. You know, click OK. When people click here, it takes them to page four or whatever you have indicated. I think we could do more, but I don't want to make this portion of the video tr very long. I, I think I actually have to break this video into chapters, you know, and then put the, um, the time code so that people can easily find whatever that they want, you know. I really want to take my time to do the tutorial. You can also compress. So if you feel like the PDF size is too big, you want to reduce or increase low, medium, high, you know, you could do the you could custom it very well here. And uh, what else can we say about editing? You know, I think we've looked at a lot about editing. Now let's try to see how do we do like, how do we change the, how, or how do we organize the pages of the document? Okay, how do we change page orientation and all of that? To do that, we simply click on page here. Okay, when you, once you click on page, you have all the pages of your document broken this way. Okay. I mean, se separated or just listed this way. You could simply zoom. Okay. You you know, you have the zoom button uh, right down here. You can just click here in case you want to be able to read through the documents, you know. All right. So you can zoom so that you can see clearly what you, and then you start to do whatever that you want to do. All right. I always remind you that you have the undo button here. So what do we seek to do right now? Assuming that we want to delete a particular page. Okay. So this, now we are talking about organizing the pages of our document. We have done the editing and we are looking at how do we organize the pages of our document. If I want to delete a particular page, I can just select that page in question. I can also select maybe multiple pages by clicking on the control key to select all these pages that I want to delete. And then um, you hit a delete button here, all right? And they will be gone. Okay, so if I hit these two pages have to be deleted, they will go, click okay, and they are gone. If you want just one page, you could just click on the delete button and it's gone. So it's very simple. Let's delete this one for instance, all right? Now let's see how do you actually um what else what else what else how do we split the pages of our pdf document assume that we want to split all the pages of this pdf document how do we do that to split this we simply have the split button here right so we click on split and then when we click on split you know we simply can what can split either in even let's say, I mean, even evenly or in even numbers. So if you want two every two pages, or do you want to split to, let's say, X number of pages, meaning it's going to split all the pages of your, your document. So if I select this, then it means all the, and then I put here one, 
right and put one here mean that it is going to 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 just extract uh, sorry split and ex extract all the pages of my document into what uh, separate files so let's go ahead and hit start okay once it's completed you click on this button here and you will find all the pages of your document here that have been splitted into separate pdf files now you'll ask me what if i'm interested in uh, extracting just specific page numbers so if i'm interested in extracting just specific page numbers it is still possible all you have to do is to make sure that you select the pages in question so i could select this and also select this and also select this select all the pages that you want in question and then you can go ahead and what and extract these pages okay so to extract these pages that i've selected what do i do all i have to do is to what is to simply um go ahead and hit on what the extract button remember i told you to to select multiple pages just simply click on what the control key you can select as many as you want so i will just go ahead and click on extract you know and that is it you know now i have the choice do i want to extract these pages into separate uh, files so you see extract selected pages as one or do i want to select uh, sorry to extract them as one pdf if i want to extract all these pages as one pdf then just choose that if i want to e extract all these pages as each page as a, a pdf then i select this so let me choose this i want to extract everything so it's like i want to match selected pages so i just extract this and i just hit extract once that is done you click on open folder and you'll find your extracted pdf combined or matched uh, what else can we do about extraction i think we've done enough now let's say how do you change the orientation of some pages assuming that you have a particular page like this that is you want to change the orientation you could change it this way this way that way as you like you know you could do whatever that you want you know this is how you can change so for instance sometimes you scan a document and realize that some pages are mal oriented you can change the orientation by simply while selecting and then rotating them as you want once you are done you can always click on the save button to apply your changes right and um think we've done enough when it comes to extraction right and splitting and changing of orientation and all of that now let's look at uh the next thing that i promised you was what was how to actually um digitally or electronically sign your pdf document all right so let's look at that one too so to digitally sign your pdf document simply click on protect okay and then um but before we do that i would also show you how do you add for instance for instance stamps okay so let's look let's look, first of all look at how to add stamps before we come and look at how to to to, to digitally sign so stamps can help you for instance indicate that okay please sign here you know this is approved whatever right so how do we get the stamps i think the stamps are actually under view if i'm not mistaken no annotate rather yes it's rather an annotate so you can hit on the drop down menu here and you can see several type of stamps you can say initial here sign here you always have the choice to customize by clicking on the plus button and you can import your own image whatever that you want to use as a stamp right so for now let's say for instance uh init sign here i could say for instance sign here okay the person has to sign here and then what else can i say um i'm trying to find something else you know uh let's say sign here let's see what else can we say 
let's assume that we want to say this is approved. We can click on image here, and then I can say um, approved. Okay, this has been approved. And then this person should sign here. Right. Let's see, what else can we add as a stamp? I think this is enough, you know. And then uh, we'll proceed with the signing. So, so to sign the document, in case you want to send it to somebody else to sign, you could just click on share. You select email. You click save. Okay, they say, please save this file before sharing. So you simply click on save. And then after which you realize that your Outlook or whatever uh, PDF, sorry, out email system that you have will open up. And then you can simply type the person's uh, email address. You see? So for instance, I could say I'm sending this to Minunkun. Uh, tutorials at gmail dot com. Right, minicum tutorials at gmail dot com, and then just I can write something. I can say hi. Hope you are fine. I hope you are well. Please sign this. Documents. Okay. And that is it. You know, and you just hit on what S send, and your document is has been sent to the person. The fellow will just open, uh, preferably with, you know, a mini tool PDF editor or any other PDF editor that is at his disposal, and just electronically sign here. Assume I'm to sign it by myself. How do I sign the document? It's very simple. All I have to do is to simply click on what protect. Once I click on protect, I click on what? Signature, all right? So you see, we, could, we also have watermark here. If you want to add a watermark, you could also do that, you know? So by first of all, let's sign, and then we look at the other um, widgets or options under protect, the protect menu. So let's first of all, how do we sign? So I just click on this drop down menu and I already have my signatures here. You see, so I can just add one here. I can just, you know, initial, whatever. And that is it, you know. But you would say, how do I actually, if I want to date and sign, how do I do that, for instance? Or how do I even create this signature? So I can delete these signatures and create new ones for you to see how I did it. So to create these signatures, I can just click here, click on uh, create new, all right? And then I can draw, I can type, you know, and I can use an image or even a, my camera. So let's use, for instance, the drawing first. So I can draw my signature this way, all right? It's always better when you are using your mouse, the mouse part of your laptop. But with a traditional mouse, it can be complicated, you know. <laughs> you can always delete it and redo it, you know, until you get something that is perfect or good looking, you know. Perfect. See how I'm signing as if I'm signing with my pen. I simply click on apply and then I can place it wherever I want to place it. You know, I can put it down here, then put it right here right can date if i want to date and sign let's date so to date you have to add a text field for and you just date it so how do i add a text field for date i can click on edit and i can just simply what insert text and then you know i can just simply type the date here so let's say for instance today is what 
at the first October 2024. All right. So let's assume I'm dating. Okay, so it's like I'm I've I've dated a document, right? And I've signed can initial. If I want to initial, how do you initial? You can initial by simply what? Uh click back on protect. You know, when I said initial, I meant if you want to draw, if you want to type, you could type your name here, for instance, or your initials. Sorry. All right. You could choose any style of your choice. I usually prefer this. It's cool for me. Apply and I can place it somewhere here. You can do it, whatever that you want. So this is how you sign, you know. Now we can also look at if you want to add a watermark, okay. For instance, you want to say this is a draft. Then you could do that and you have it all over your document that this is just a draft. You know, you could choose another uh, whatever, like maybe office use only, you know, applied. Uh, let's let me edit, see what I can edit this. Click here, delete or update uh, watermark is possible. So let's delete this, you know, and the watermarks are gone. And then let's uh, reapply. I could say this is what uh for office use only you know and i have the watermark here you could also flatten you know which is not something i want to do for now you could also what do batch inscription uh, what do you, whatever encryption so for instance you want to protect your document you don't want somebody to be able to modify it you can do that you have to encrypt the document so i can just say click on encryption here and then I can say, for instance, open a password for restricting the opening of a PDF file. Or do I want like permission, let's say for uh, certain restrictions, I mean for certain set, for certain certain restrictions. So, you know, these are the restrictions that I have to put here. So for instance, if I should choose this, it means I could say, for instance, I could put a password and say, do not edit, it mean that nobody can edit. I would put just a trade gate password, right? Mean that nobody can edit unless this person knows this password that I've entered. I could choose all of these. The person cannot annotate or the person cannot copy or print. I can check this and I could just say, open, you know, meaning nobody can open uh, this document. Then I just put a password that I want and just click on apply. Um, I think we've covered, you know, the most part, you know, I don't know what else I probably should show you, right? If you want me to show you some other things that we can do, I know there are many, many more things that we can do, all right? Uh, but I just try to keep the tutorial short. So maybe in future tutorials, I will try to break down all of these. All right. So really, I really thank you so much for watching. And what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and download and enjoy Mini Tool PDF Editor. It's awesome, as you can see.